makes a good vlog? I can tell you from my experience it's 88% audio quality and the rest only video quality. So if you have bad audio people notice it immediately. So you have to have good audio. But sometimes all this wires tangling around just like I have here my wired system might be a bit cumbersome. So you want to have a wireless system. For smartphones it's hard to come by because some of them are not optimized for smartphones. And Boya sent me a very nice pair here that allows me not to use only one transmitter but two, which is very, very useful for interview like situations. This is the BY XM6S6 wireless microphone system from Boya, and I will unbox it right now and review it for you. So let's get started. So here we have the packaging of the Boya Ultra Compact 2.4 GHz dual channel wireless microphone system BY-XM6S6 compatible with Android devices 100 meters of operating range and the transmitter can hold up 7 hours runtime which is pretty pretty cool. Here you can see the receiver and the two transmitters. They have displays apparently which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, what do we have here on the side? We have also some uh, specs like 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah, this is common. OLED screen, which is super, super cool and real time monitoring. So you have also the possibility to monitor yourself, which is super uh, well as well. Open it up. Two years of warranty, by the way, also pretty nice that you get this from Boya. And uh, let's get this box out of here. And uh, yeah, let's see how I open this up here. Yeah, we have another box. This looks like we have the, yeah, here we have the transmitters and the receiver already. There we have the one transmitter. We can take a look around the device. So we have a microphone here, what looks to be like a holder for some kind of wind muff as well. This is the mic and line in, which is also cool. We have the USB type C charging, five volts, one ampere. And that's pretty much it. And here I think is a OLED screen hidden. And of course we have this clam. And we have like something like here that looks like a charging mold of something with pins for charging probably. We have some buttons here. We have a mute button and a power on button as it looks like. We have a volume up button and a set button and a volume down button. So pretty cool, we'll check this out later. Then we have another transmitter here. Let's check out the receiver. Get it out of the box. Yeah, the packaging experience <laughs> needs to be done, boy, if you're listening to this. Um, it's not intuitive to unbox it. Anyway, here we have the receiver. USB Type-C with a nice uh, protector for the USB-C port. So let's put it on here. We have the Boya name here we have a headphone output so this is where you can have a yeah possibility to live listen to what what you're doing then we have a led lamp that probably will light up when you're connected or otherwise will just blink to indicate that you're not connected and then we have some options here as well i don't know what this here is maybe also an led light or is it a button it's a button actually maybe a reset button and we have an M and S mode, I think it stands for mono and stereo, uh, where you can just flip this to go to stereo mode. Might have also something to do with the second transmitter. So if you go to stereo mode, that it will have one channel, left channel, one transmitter, right channel, the other transmitter. Uh, but I have to read about this. But it's nice that we have like an option, like a flip button, not like something else to do it in software or something like this. So you can see on first glance, is it doing what you want or not? So this is this. Let's put this aside. Let's check out what's in this big box here. We get lots of accessories, like an accessory bag here with stuff inside. Of course, with stuff inside. So what do we have here? Let's let's get it out. Silica gel. We have a USB A to USB C cable. Another USB A to C cable, so you can charge both of your um, transmitters. And we have uh, what looks to be like, yes, this is like a um, lapel microphone, lavalier microphone, as you can see here. It has a two, two ring connector, TRS, and quite big, I would say. And we have two of them. So for each 
transmitter we get one and probably we have also here in this because they're pretty exposed right now probably we have some wind muffs and so on yeah 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 so we have clips of course that you can use to clip it to your shirt there's a nice molding for this so you can clip it in and uh, this seems to be the wind muff for the transmitter itself but yeah for the lapel mic for the lavalier microphone you get this little uh, soft wind muff that you can put on here and uh, then you have a nice microphone protected against some pop noises and light breezes of wind and uh, now let's talk about this one here this is the wind muff as you can see it has like a nice little option to attach it to one of the transmitters so where did i put the transmitter i had it here there we go it's black on black table <laughs> hard to see so you can see here we have two clips and we have two holes here so we can put this on there let me get this right yeah and twist it a little bit i think and then it will hold on to it yes it's holding on to it and you have a nice wind muff now that is probably better in protecting uh, against the wind than this here so that might be very interesting so i will take a look at other stuff that is in here this is the same uh, second pair of this we have this nice pouch that i think has a boya logo looks pretty nice but has some extras like here for example you can put some stuff and inside you have also little pockets here uh, can you really see it there maybe there are some pockets as well here are some nets net pockets that you can organize stuff so this is really really handy i have to say to have such a thing to organize all your cables and all your management and then we have of course the instruction manual here in this transparent half transparent kind of foil let's get this out of here and of course we have the warranty here we have some boya stickers oh boya is also sending out stickers very nice and uh, yeah here's some warranty stuff warranty card and here we have the instruction manual in for various different devices as you can see here and yeah it will take me there's a various different kits of this device it will guide me through how to use all the stuff here and yeah i will show you a quick example and maybe show you how this will work so to show you how easy it is to connect to it i have uh, my xiaomi 12s ultra here and i will plug in the receiver first of all with usb type c to the usb type c port here and it starts blinking so it gets power which is nice and the device turns on which is also cool then i will take this one here with the wind buff and i hold a few seconds on this uh, power slash mute button and we will see that the boya logo will appear and we get then also our user interface here as you can see here we have the battery level we have a meter here so if i tap here you can see the meter going up and down you have the microphone sensitivity and we have a nice uh, indicator for how good the connection connectivity between the receiver and the transmitter are which is pretty nice and of course with the plus button i can raise the volume of the mic now to six which is the maximum i think at least i cannot go further and i can go down if i want to even to zero and if i just press once here yeah, i think it's muting yeah it should be muted now i think um but i don't see any ah there's an indication there is one so just watch watch closely so now there's a line that's crossing the microphone now it's gone so this i think should be made a little bit more obvious like a red i get not sure is it a multi color display probably not but yeah you you can see it's muted or not muted so i think i will do a little test let's leave it at five the default to see how good this will sound like so let's try it out so now i'm using the boya microphone i forgot the name already a by xm6 and then the s6 i think stands for the for the variant that i have here and yeah i'm having it on my collar as you can see here the transmitter 
with the wind muff attached to it and I can also and I will try out the lavalier or lapel microphone that came with it which has quite a whole a big hole opening so I think the sound quality should be nice there as well but this is now recording the Xiaomi 12s Ultra that can record directly with its camera application from an external microphone, microphone source just like for example now the microphone that the receiver is emulating for this device. So what do you think about the sound quality here on the Boya XM6? So I'm now recording with the Boya microphone in my hand just like a news reporter would do eventually. This is the one transmitter that is connected to the Boya but the other one is also connected so let me switch quickly. Let's, let's quickly switch it out. And now I'm using the other one with the wind muff so you can distinguish them both. And both should sound pretty fine without any issues and they are mixed together because I'm using the mono mode here. Interesting would be how does it behave when I switch to stereo? Probably not during recording but I have to stop recording and then try the stereo mode. So now I'm recording in stereo mode. I have my uh, lavalier or lapel microphone with the uh, first Boya transmitter on and in stereo mode this one is now working on one channel only a left or right channel you will hear me my voice clearly and when I'm going to mute this one here I will take the other transmitter and you will hear that this one will be on the other channel so let's mute this by pressing the mute button and now I unmuted the other Boya mic that I'm talking to right now that should be on the other channel. The good thing about this one is if I'm using the stereo mode to have one interviewee could use this microphone and the interviewer could use the other microphone and I have like a separation of left and right channels which allow me to post product the audio. So for example if the interviewee is speaking a bit too quietly I can raise up the volume without raising up the volume of the interviewer which might be okay. So this is a very very handy and good feature in this two transmitter uh, mode recording in stereo when you have the receiver set to stereo. It doesn't affect your microphones that you've plugged in if you plug in a stereo microphone or not this doesn't affect it. Uh, so this is only if you have multiple transmitters. I tried it out. So what do you think about this feature? I think this is pretty cool. So this is now a test with the Boya XM6 and the included lavalier or lapel microphone. And I want to do a little bit of a test of the range. 100 meters is claimed and um, I will probably not reach 100 meters, but I will try to reach some meters. So I'll go a little bit back here and you can still hear my voice clear, I think, clearly. And even if I turn around, you should still hear me fine. I will go to 25 meters to see how well this is going. And uh, yeah, this is now uh, roughly then the 20 meters uh, that I'm away now from this, from the camera. Now let's try to go the full 50 meter range. Usually when I'm doing some vlogging or some stuff, I would not do the full, I would not go the full 50 meter away from my camera and uh, yeah this is now 80 uh, 80 it is uh, uh, 40 I mean and now I'm reaching the 50 meters mark which is like already so small that it's like unbelievable to see me even on this camera so yeah this is now roughly 50 maybe now 60 meters let's go here and hopefully you're still still hearing me so this is now 50 uh, 60 meters and uh, now I'm going back a little bit still hopefully you, you can listen to me if I would have like someone at the microphone sitting he could or at the camera sitting he could just plug in headphones to check uh, how is it looking like now roughly 80 meters and hopefully still going strong and I'm reaching the 100 meters now so yeah, this is, I think, still going strong and because we have a clear line of sight, this shouldn't be an issue at all. So what do you think about this one here? From the sound quality wise, from the lapel mic, from the, um, yeah, the range, I think it is doing pretty well. I hope at least it's doing pretty well. What do you think about this one here? So what I noticed using one of those uh, transmitters is that outdoors it was very, very dim. So if I turn it on here, you will see that the Boya uh, logo and 
yeah, all the settings appear here wonderfully and I can see them without any issues when I'm indoors. But when I'm outdoors and I put it like into the sunlight, you can see the reflections and everything make it almost impossible to read, which is like one of a major bummer where I could not see if this device is really turned on. The only thing that I could use is really the receiver and the LED light here because this is pretty bright and I could see that this is not blinking anymore which means it is connected to something so probably it's my transmitter. So otherwise what we can do we can press the set button or the plus button a bit longer to go to a menu and here we can see input MIG in which is one option but I can also go and uh, set this up Let's go into set here I have uh, mic gain options where I can set the mic gain. I have mute enabled if I want to enable mute. Backlight on or off. And now I can change it from on to off or to a specific second. So it is on all the time. Or I can have it on only for 60 seconds or only for 30 seconds. But even if I have it on, it's like very hard to see anything on this one here which is a bit of a bummer. Then the next one is connect. Yes, of course we have connect connectivity. We want to connect to or we are connected. Uh, language is English and we can restore the settings. And this is version uh, 1.10 as you can see here from the firmware. So yeah, this is what I can set up on here. If I want to go back, I press and hold the minus button, which will bring me back to this one here. We can see I have like now muted, I can unmute it. Another small issue that I encountered, I just want to talk about it shortly because uh, yeah, you have to figure out if it's an issue for you or it might be an issue you might run, right, uh, run into, is this USB Type-C um, plug is a bit short because I have like a thick case on here on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. I want to plug it in, you can see I can plug it in, it looks like it's plugged in but it's not getting power because it's not really plugged in. I can press a little bit but it's not working really. So yeah, this I have with this case. I'm just live on camera trying it out. P50 Pro case, the Nilkin case. This one seems to work fine. So just that you get an impression or that you have to maybe get like uh, this one should work fine as it has such a large opening. It's not so thick. So Xperia 1 Mark 4 working fine. Same goes for the Zenfone 9 with its uh, default case also working fine. So if you have such a bulky case, let me try out the last one, the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate, because it has a very closed up and very thick case here. And yeah, it's also working. So you can see, even it's turning on here, you can see that most of the cases are working, but if you have such a bulky case as I have here to, yeah, overly <laughs> protective of my, of my device, what you can get is of course, such a USB-C adapter where you just plug it in at just a few euros and you can then plug it in and then it will work as well. So if you have such issues, you can do such thing. Maybe you can get even like a shorter version of it to make it a bit longer. This stereo mode, however, I figured out and I have to tell you, is not always working on all smartphones the same way. So I was checking it out with the uh, Xiaomi 12S Ultra and here it doesn't work because the Xiaomi 12S Ultra only records mono. It doesn't have stereo recording, so it cannot record a separate left and right channel. No matter what I did, even with this uh, receiver, it was not able to get a left and right channel because it's always mixing them together to a mono channel. The Xperia 1 Mark IV doesn't have this issue. Uh, this one has the possibility with this uh, receiver to have a separate or to record a separate left and right channel, so it has full stereo recording capabilities in the default Video Pro app that is on here. So this is pretty nicely done here on this. So it could be that eventually you can do it on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra as well by installing a third party application, but I'm not so sure about it. I know also that Honor smartphones suffer from this, so they're also down mixing it to mono and I think Huawei smartphones as well. So be aware of this because this is a set for smartphones specifically that this stereo mode might not work on your smartphone because your smartphone doesn't support stereo recording at all. So you have to rely maybe on a third party. Otherwise just use then the mono one and hope that, or make sure with the, here it is, headphone jack that both parties that are you, you are interviewing are sounding nicely on both 
microphones. So I really have to say I like this Boya wireless uh, microphone system, the XM6, I just call it XM6, BY XM6. But this is really a good set and I really like the transmitter. Seven hours of runtime. I couldn't make it to this seven hours yet, which is pretty interesting because I'm not recording seven hours, but it's very, very long. With all my previous microphones and wireless microphones that I tried out, I always ran into this issue. Either the receiver running out of power because it's not a receiver made for the smartphone, so not powered by the smartphone, or the transmitter running pretty quickly out of power which is always like a bit of a bummer but this one has almost everything that i need that a vlogger needs for going out and about has the wind muff even in windy conditions you shouldn't run into trouble or issues if you have it like you can see i'm using it right now if you have it on your collar it should work fine and it's pretty pretty good from the sound quality i hear there now especially on the test with the long range i heard a little bit of like some kind of um yeah artificial clipping noise or something like that. i'm not sure what it is like r rattling rattling noise or something like this it might be that the cable is not completely audiophonic from the uh, included lapel microphone so i'm not so sure about this one but i think it has all the basic features and it's a good microphone system for interviews it's a good microphone system in general the long battery life the easy the ease of use the possibility to listen to your recording can, can just plug in you know the the, the headphones that you get maybe uh, in an airplane or something like this only with one earbud plug it in to listen to have a control track to listen to yourself if the sound is nice and okay all this functionality pretty pretty good and also by the way you can also misuse this basically as a headphone output uh, it's working fine as well for this uh, so if you don't have the USB-C adapter uh, for headphones you can even use this if you have the microphone uh, the Boya mic so what do you think about this one I'm pretty excited about this one this is a pretty good uh, well done job by Boya and I could imagine eventually there are two things that I would improve yeah two things that I would improve um, first of all make it a little bit smaller the receiver because I know there are some receivers that are a bit smaller I think Boyer can make it a bit smaller as well then the other thing I would improve is the display on the transmitter because outdoors even if it's not sunshine outdoors it's barely it's readable it's almost not readable at all which is like yeah a bit of a bummer I would say these are the two things that I would improve on this one. Otherwise, it's a very, very good uh, wireless microphone system for vlogging. USB-C, easy, wireless, easy, top. So what do you think about this one? That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have some questions, write them down in the comment section. Maybe I should try out this, uh, this one or this one or this thing. You can write it down in the comments. Uh, that's it. Until the next time. Bye.